This is Twit. Windows Experience Pack. Right. What Windows is that? E- Feature Experience Pack. Feature. Right. Experience Feature Pack. Where where would we see this? This is in uh, settings, right? If you go to. Um, yeah, if you go to about your PC and you have the yeah. May 2020 update. Oh, okay. So you'll, you need that. You'll see this thing, right? You'll see this, and it'll say that you have Windows Feature Experience Pack installed. Right. And then you're like, okay, what is this? I I didn't install it. It just seemed to install it itself. It just comes with Windows 2010, yep. 2004. Yeah, 2004. Yep. yep. So. Um, there's been rumors about this thing being part of 10X, but it's also part of 2004. And so when I asked Microsoft this week, hey, everybody's getting this thing called the Windows Feature Experience Pack. What is it? We have nothing to share. (laughs) It's always a good (laughs) sign. Okay, so wait. Like, it's it's an automatic update. Like, you don't choose if you can get it or don't get it. It just installs, and you don't want to say what's in it. Nope. Why, well, why would nope. they even put it put it in the UI? Just don't say anything. Don't put it. Don't put that line in there that says it's yeah. installed, and people wouldn't even know. You wouldn't right? know to ask. It's not. We're not playing. Where's Waldo? Like yeah. you just put it somewhere in there, and you, you, people are going to find it. Yep. Right. But so they don't so, even want to say what it is. No. Right. They don't. So I asked around. I, I'm like, people must know what this is, right? And there have been a lot of rumors. Walking Cat was the first one who found a uh, reference to this back in winter. The last winter. Yeah, it was December, and, I think, was the beginning. Yeah, everybody was just guessing, like, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. And it turns out it's one of the features called um, Features on Demand. So there's a whole list of things in Windows that are called Features on Demand that are things that install alongside the operating system that Microsoft doesn't want you to uninstall. So Notepad is an example, Internet Explorer, um, Paint, PowerShell ISE, like there's a lot of things like this, right? And now they added a list that also says, oh yeah, and the Windows Feature Experience Pack. But it doesn't say what it is. It just says it includes features critical to Windows functionality. (laughs) It's 44 megs in size. Okay. And if you get Windows 10 2004, you get this, whatever version of 2004 you're on. So... I, I asked a few other people, I'm like, so what? what's in this thing? Like when you look inside, what's in it? And so what's in it mm-hmm. are things like um, the the updated snip and sketch tool <laughs> is in there. Um, so it's not like know, the Ark I'm of like, the Covenant. It's, no, it's no. slightly less right? impressive. It's not, not going to melt Nazis or anything. It's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. no listen to other things in there. Updated text input panel and updated shell suggestion user interface. I'm yeah. like, okay, so all of the, what do these things have in common? They're part of the shell of Windows. So it turns out, I believe, oh. that this thing is going to be Microsoft's going to put all these shell components that in this bundle. Sense. And so instead of having to test and validate and update each of these things separately, they're going to put this thing in the store. And every time they have updates to this, they'll just put them into this bundle and then you'll just get an update to the feature experience pack. Okay. What's so hard about saying this? <laughs> right. And right? this is what uh, Google did with Android, where they took out more and more of right. the OS right. and put it yeah. in as store components that you could update yep. just like mobile apps, right? Yep. Uh, and it's a little bit like the the WinUI or um, Project Reunion mm-hmm. stuff where they strip it out of, in that case, UWP and yeah. uh, stop uh, it being required uh, stop it from requiring a very specific version of Windows 10 they just make it available yep. across versions yep. now but I wonder if this would be version agnostic as well could the Windows feature experience <laughs> pack version whatever it is 120 yeah. work on you know 1909 to uh, 2004 and some other I mean or is it still tied um, to that version so I'll tell you what I know about that so um mm-hmm. On the dummy app for this thing that Microsoft has in its store right now that's not the real feature experience pack, it says it works on all versions of Windows 10. But in the... In the feature on demand notes, it says 2004 and above only. In Xbox, by the way. In Xbox. Yeah. (laughs) So the hypothesis, actually this kind of makes sense, is that they would like to be able to update UI features more often Separate. than twice a year yes as correct. needed and by putting yep. it in the store you just can get that update as whenever right. they have something it's to a say. bundle right yeah anytime they 
fix something or add something to any of those features. They just update the bundle and push it to you. One thing. Boom. You got it. That makes sense. Why couldn't um, they say that? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. 